Um, mm, I have two conflicting things. Go ahead. First of all, I want to acknowledge, I was thinking about it as I was preparing this morning, um, whacking and how like I learned it and got into it, of all of the dance forms has been the most open. I always felt like a kid just trying to learn something and it was really hard to find my oh. teachers. And when um, I, in, in New York, I had the most open arms and this was like around 2004, 2005, what was happening there with Brian Green and then Tyrone and Archer, Archie. Yeah. Um, but I had never felt that welcome and then again, when I came to LA, I mean, with you, with Dallas, with Anna Sanchez, oh, bless her heart. like everyone with Shabadoo, whichever way we want to look at it, though, anyone that in some way was involved with the dance has always been so open and inviting and welcoming to me. I've, I've experienced this uniquely with whacking, yeah. punking. Well, because because it's 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 it's, it's expressing beauty from LA, mm. and whether whether people want to teach it right or wrong, it's still an expression. Yeah, it's been the most. It's open. a free. It's like you have wings, you know yeah. what I mean. You have wings to act out, and because once again, yeah. it it was it was it, the influence was inspired also by silent movies. Mm. They had no words. So you, when you move and you act and you hit, you're hitting the sound. You're acting. You're becoming an actress with movement. Mm. Which is more, this is the difference between model, this is why I say about Vogue and Vogue and, and, and punking, mm -hmm. or whacking as you know it. The big difference about Vogue is they're inspired by models. And, 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 and this is with no shade whatsoever, but the truth. Mm -hmm. And we're inspired by actors and actresses. The models have runway. Mm -hmm. We have red carpet after we shot the movie, after we got paid a lot of money, after we did our script, after the sound was made for something we did. And then the stylists come in and give us free clothes that the models have worn on the runway. Mm. We don't get paid to use the clothes, we get them for free. Mm. So when you have that in your head, when you're moving and when you're whacking and you're punking, it's a whole different level of manifestation of movement. As opposed to just being pose, 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 which is, I love booking, mm -hmm. by the way. Um, and it's, so it's a different mentality. It's a different kind of power. Yeah. And then there's also the like once you do your movie, you don't want you want you don't want the paparazzi to see you. Mm -hmm. So then there's act there's that active action that you could put into the music where you don't want the beats to see you, you don't want anybody to see you. So that becomes a dance as well. Oh my gosh, it I'm just like uh... <laughs> right. See there you go. Yeah. Oh. So those are elements come into this dance. That's, that's why it's so sorry. free, and that's why it, this is why it's very important that the history has not it cannot be forgotten of how it started and how we got influenced to be able to express ourselves in a world where we were not allowed to exist mm. think about it what else from what else about the history what else do you want people to know what else is important to know invaluable no pressure no right um, <laughs> if there's anything that comes to mind and, and I and I love the costumes mm. and I love that everybody gets dressed up mm-hmm when they do whacking and punking. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But the point, you're missing the point. Mm. You're missing the point of, of, of you could showing up with your jeans and your shirt and just have a fabulous coat and make it a big scene as opposed to walking in with smoke, mirrors, and a parade. Mm. Because then when you come in with smoke and mirrors and a parade and flash and fireworks, you have a responsibility to live up to those fireworks. Mm. Then you have a responsibility to live up to that music. But when you make it private about you walking in with your coat or your dress and just dancing, it becomes about you. And that's why a lot of people, which is true, and I've spoken to other people, are jumping into Vogue because there is no responsibility like that. Hmm. In Vogue, you just do the movements and you model the clothes and you... Alicia, Alicia, Al Alisa, remember Alisa? Veramos, Veramos in New York, Alisa, black girl? Nope. She's a, she's a, she's, she does Vogue and she does... No rocking. shade. No, no shade. shade. No, no. I moved here 10 years ago, ten but I come back and forth. No, no, exactly. No, she was, she was already back in Europe as well. Ah. Uh, Alisa, who I met through Anna, and we're still friends. She now lives in Sweden and awesome. doing major movement with this dance. Both of the, si the sister styles, as I started calling them. Ooh, sister the Vogue style. and Wack, sister, Wack and Punky. Yeah, Punky, Punky and Vogue is sister styles. Punky and Vogue. Different continents. And there's another thing that people don't know, and I actually told Archie and Deshaun, I was like, do you know that Vogue rhythm is two, four, six, eight? 
and yeah. pumpkin wagon is Top. one three five seven Top. and they're like what do you mean i said you guys sit on the rhythm mm -hmm. we hit one three we strike out you guys sit that's the difference mm -hmm. and also with and Alisa's the one that said that back to Alisa. She says, voguing... She Alisa, said, we're going to find you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, she said, voguing is here I am adorming. Ooh. And punking is here I come, there I go. Sorry, you missed it. Oh, my God. <laughs> no wonder I, I feel so one with it because that's like my that's energy. You, that's <laughs> you're a Sagittarius. Yeah. <laughs> you here I come, there I go. Sorry, got to go. <laughs> But that's what the movement oh, is. Wow. So that's that's something that cannot be forgotten. That you know, just live, just live like you, just live. When I teach punky wacky, there's five points, mm. like a pentagram. One, two, three, four. So it's foot, foot, and five. Mm -hmm. You move your foot, you move your arm. It's like walking. You act out. You move. You fight. You move. Go pong, go pong, go pong. Everything. And so if you go 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 walk 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 walk, what are you trying to learn how to walk? And then you get you up to the table. Not to be funny, but it's funny to me. Yeah. Or there's five points of hitting your arms. One, two, three, four, and five. What happened to that? What happened? You know what? What happened? If you if I move here. I'm moving there because I gotta go there. So that uh, therefore that foot goes there, and this arm goes there, and that foot goes back. It looks so natural. It's dance. It's natural. And then what? Uh, what when people ask you, what do I do with my hands? As far Especially as what? For I don't. So I know it's, this has been given a name, but I don't know that it had a. No, you see, it? this is why when I came back into it, yeah. everything had a name. I was like, whoa, okay, we didn't have names for them. I just spoke about this the other day because I saw a blog where someone was talking about inventing something they and, added names well yeah no they did it's because you can't charge for something that doesn't have a name i correct. was told this years yeah, no, ago correct 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 no 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 and i understand that but don't say you oh, you originated a step oh, okay. when you gave a name yeah. and that's what i said the other day i said just because you give a name to a step you learn doesn't make it yours huh. yeah and especially when you heard where it came from from me mm-hmm because they understood once I have I've had meetings and conversations with many people mm -hmm. and they know where things come from therefore they claim it because they they gave it a name but it's like but well, you don't even know where it came from because I've had conversations with people that are big time names in this mm -hmm. whacking world and I said do you know where this came from they're like what I said it came from someplace it didn't just pff, out of nowhere it came from here oh <gasps> it came from here and that came from here is <gasps> there an example I, I'm so curious as far as, as um steps that you see done that you're like oh this is where it came from or in those conversations the bolos bolos even. the bolos came from the nunchucks and that's a tinker step mm -hmm. and tinker didn't give it a bolo name he just did it mm -hmm. then there's the there there's another one where um that's the famous one because that's the one that's become yeah. all kinds of shapes and all kinds like for example i do I do round movements. If you ever see me dance, I do round mm -hmm. movements. And you know why I do that? Because I was a cowboy. And here's a rope, oh. and that's the horse. And that's why I move like that. My movement is round. Everything I do, and then there's the Mexican dance thing where the skirt. So I do a lot of this. That's and then so I cool. go over my head because I had a big hat when I was a kid as a cowboy. That's so cute. So there's, there's a lot of different moves that I do that are my moves. Yeah. There's also a helicopter where I jump in the air. I don't know if you've seen it. I'm not sure. Where I, I, I stand up and I jump yes. in the air. Yeah. That's a tour all air. That's an axle from ice skating. And did but, you... but, but, but the great thing about mm -hmm. punking, which is getting lost, is your, your inspiration is literal. Your expression has to be original. No one should know where you stole the step from. No one should know that you... We were the original pleasurizers. Mm. We were the original... B-boys, except we happen to be gay. Think about it, because B-boys dance to music. Mm -hmm. They destroy the music, that's what we did. Mm -hmm. We stole everything from everybody, but nobody knew where we got it from. But people would relate to it, because they're like, it looks familiar, but we don't know from where. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, did you put your jazz technique into it at all, or did you keep it like really separate, your jazz and ballet? and? The jazz technique helped me 
the ballet technique, because I started dancing when I was, I started training when I was 20, mm -hmm. and it came like this to me. Because I already was sorry. No, it's the opposite with me. Like the more I trained in ballet, the worse I got. I no, because I mean, but then, but then it got, I got so good in ballet and jazz because people thought that I've been dancing since I was nine when I went to ballet class. Oh my god! But I, I mean, I didn't have a, I had a difficult time, but I didn't show it. I was there to learn, mm -hmm. and 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 I know that two of my friends didn't come back to dance class, and I know that this is a, a urban mentality that happens. Urban kids don't go into a professional dance class because they don't want to be the worst. Mm -hmm. And I never had that mentality. I was there to learn. I didn't give a shit what people said. Mm -hmm. I was there to learn how to use my body because was, I'm legally blind in my left eye. Mm -hmm. So I have a monocular vision. I only see wow. you. I don't see anything else. Wow. So when you see me dance as well, that's why I touch my shoulders so I know where I'm going. And oh that's where I develop my technique to do the step Turn, turn here, and so I became a very technical dancer that everybody thought I was, but I was just doing it because I couldn't see anything. Wow. So you take all those things, and so I became so good at jazz dancing and technical dancer. True story, in Dallas, may she rest in peace, mm -hmm. whose anniversary was a couple of days ago that she passed. Um, oh, I, I knew her since she, I met her in 75. She was, and, 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 I'm, and we work together in the technical world a lot. She helped me tremendously. <laughs> yeah. She helped me with, um, with how to put a schedule together and how to get my things and how to write things down. So she, back to her. I auditioned for Grease 2, the movie, and I was up for a part. And she was already doing the movie. Wow. And so Pat Birch, I think her name was the choreographer. And I was supposed to get one of the parts, but Pat told Dallas to tell me that she wished she could hire me, but I'm too much of a technical dancer. I'm not urban or street enough. <laughs> <laughs> True story. So that's when I was like, wait, what? Because I've become so properly trained. So then I, I had to disregard everything. Yeah. So back to this, this did I ever use my jazz training? No. Because it's a different rhythm. Mm. But my jazz it's classes. Like growing in like a cake or oh we did yeah. tinker if you see the Al thing he does beats yeah we did the head roll Woo. we used to do a head roll we used, the hamel camel back then dorothy camel was famous for uh an ice skater mm -hmm. she would do the leg thing archie does it he does the head roll with a leg pack that comes from ice skating mm. <laughs> so we would take steps from different things okay. and throw them in there but the way it looked raw is because we made them look er we were we were not trained mm -hmm. So it looked like, kunk, kunk. what the hell was that? It was supposed to be a tour. Yeah, right. <laughs> it is, but don't, it's okay. No one knows where we, but we, that's, that's the beauty of punking. Mm -hmm. And that's why whacking with a double A right now, it beca it's, it become, it's becoming so, I don't want to say boring, because it's never going to be boring. It, 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 I, when I judge, I sit there and I'm like, okay, so what are you, what are you, what are you feeling when you're dancing? What? What are you feeling? And even when I judged all styles, I always say to all the dancers, look, I said, look, you guys, I know the rhythms. I know that uh, dance is, 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 is the language universal, different dialects with the styles, yeah. but it is a communication thing. So I want you to come in. I want you to feel something, listen and go. I don't want you to listen, feel something and go because then you're predicting the music to tell you what to feel. Um, and when in reality as human beings and artists, we already have stuff we want to bleh. So that's why when I saw you, Girl, just do something. <laughs> Did I say? Yes, you're like, what are you doing? But it was, it was also like an extension of I feel a bigger message I've been receiving, and I was like, the, the message came through okay. Victor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Do, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Like, why do you, why do you have to process so much? That's like, there's a voice in my head that's been telling me that, and that voice clearly isn't getting the point across. Literally that. Yeah. Like get out of yourself. Stop it. Go dance ugly. Do, like whatever. Get over yourself. Well, what's what's what, and that's what the, the kind of energy that we're talking about that everybody is into in the world. It's happening. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of transformation, and we're not listening to it because we're afraid. Mm -hmm. My 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 transformation happened that you know I'm, I'm born the year of the fire rooster. I don't know what that means. And it's tri <laughs> in Chinese astrology. Right, also, right, right. Fire rooster. There's different. But there's like, the monkey. That? There's the horse. I know that. What's yes. the fire rooster? No, a rooster. A that? rooster is. The one that starts early, and he, you know, he, he's very much his own person, and he, he's flashy, but he doesn't like attention. Oh my gosh! And so, but I used to have a rooster, and his name was Strudel, 
<laughs> is I've had him for, you know, when you see my website and my pictures, you see the pictures of a rooster. And I've had him for like eight, eight, nine years at the barn, and I used to feed him. The interesting thing is um, he just passed away January 26th. And I, of age, and I, and I, I was seeing him decline. He used to sleep in my horse's stalls. So my message was, because roosters, when they go to sleep, they roost. It's called roosting, when you sleep, resting. Roosting, resting. That's, I think that's probably where the word came from as well. So when he passed away, the message was, it's, oh, it's, it's, time, it's time for me to stop roosting and start talking. So that's when I saw you, that's when I said, just do it. Like, who cares? You know? And, and so, so back to the, to the whacking, I love all the arms and I love all of this, but it's missing the point. Now they're just trying to outdo each other with speed. Mm. It has become too many, like, what does a sentence have? Pronoun, verb, yeah. what does it have? Like, it has... Subject, right? Then there's a pronoun, the noun. It's the been so long. And then you have syntax. Yes. So what's the, the, what's the power word, the verb? Mm -hmm. So when you're speeding up like that, it's too many verbs. Yeah. And quite honestly, it reminds me of porn, too many money shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's really important. To the artistry is gone. And I think it's really important also for whoever, like whether you agree or disagree, great. We need to have conversations about art. You watch a painting, you talk about it, you converse. Oh, speaking of painting, speaking of painting, this, this is how we were even as other kids. It's amazing. If you, if, you know, I used to love, I used to love to teach dance, and then when I performed, I didn't, I didn't want people screaming when I was dancing. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. So I, and I used to teach my students, when you go to a museum, you don't see the picture of the Mona Lisa and go. Ah! Shut up. Watch the dance. <laughs> I almost spit out my water. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's done that in the history of life. No! Like, no, but like maybe like maybe there's like one person. I'm not saying I'm sure they'll go like this. <gasps> but they're they don't so like funny. they don't like but but we no, people know. are being brought up and desensit desensitized, is that the mm -hmm. word? Desensitized, yeah. To to just scream and holler. It's like you don't even listen to the music. And you're just like, ah, you did a great trick. No, he didn't. Yeah. Like you're missing the whole artistry, the communication of, 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 of the beauty of, of, of our dance. Yeah. You know, when I judge, I, when I went to Hip Hop International Mexico, uh, you know, because Latins, yeah, they get, they get, <laughs> with a maraca rocket or whatever. And so I, you know, everybody was, the MC is like, blah, 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 please people, please. <laughs> so I was like, I, I can't with this. So I got up and everybody's like, oh. <gasps> So I got up and I went and found the people in the crowd. Hey guys, how are you? Oh, hi, my little blue, blue. I said, Dish -dish -dish -dish. I said, look, I'm Mexican, as you guys heard, and I love. Blah, 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 blah. I said, but I and they keep saying, you guys, keep it down, keep it down, because we can't hear the music. I said, I'm judging musicality and movement. Mm. So God forbid your group comes out and I can't hear the musicality with the movement. Your team is not gonna win. Oh no, sorry, sorry teacher. I said, no, it's fine. I said, this is what I want you to do. Anytime any team is announced, scream and holler as much as you want. But once the music comes on, I don't wanna hear beep. Battle etiquette. Oh. So I sat down and the, the announcer called me, the producer goes, what do you tell them? What do you, through the whole band, through the whole competition, nothing was heard. But at the end of and everybody's like, you have balls. I just did something like that in Colombia, which I will mention. <laughs> That's why, you know, hip hop and that, I mean, people like to hire me because I'm very, I'm, you know, I am 60 years old. Uh, I, 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 I think that everybody should be given valuable time to do their dance <laughs> with no distractions. I think if you're in a competition, you should be giving equal time, visually, audially, to be able to project the best that you can. Mm. So anything distracting diminishes your performance. So they, we kept on saying the same thing. Judges are far away. The stage is there. Don't sit in front of the judges. Don't sit in front of the judges. Don't sit in front of the judges. Finals come in. Sure enough. Don't sit in front of the judges. Don't. And the juniors came out. 
the kids. And they were crying, they were cranky, they were tired, they didn't want to dance. And I was pissed. And I went, and the guy goes, no, don't, 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 Victor. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> shut up, don't sit in front of the judges. A girl happens to sit right in front of me. She was like, from here, a little further than the window. I would have gone off. Oh, no, no. I went, grabbed a half a sandwich in a bag, and I went, <laughs> Two, like 3,000 people, <gasps> you know, bam, right around. He turned, and I'm like, get out. Everybody's like, oh. And I got up, and they're like, Victor, don't. I was like, no, just let me be. So I went up to the guy. I said, give me the microphone. I watched her say, she's like, go, go, go. I said, give me the microphone. I said, hi, everybody. Everybody's like, quiet. I said, I don't, I know you guys all just saw what happened. And I don't want you to misinterpret my passion and artistry for rudeness. We kept on telling you, and we've been telling you, don't stand in front of the judges. Don't stand in front of the judges. And you guys keep not listening to that. I said, and I, how am I supposed to grade someone of the best of your best in your country to go to an international level if you keep me distracting? I said, another thing about these children that I just saw this morning. I said, don't ever sacrifice the love of dance of a child for wanting to win. I said, how dare you guys? I said, how dare you teachers? Put these little kids and over rehearse them and not even probably feed them and don't let them sleep because you want to win and your music choices with children dancing. I said, parents, you need to be looking out for that. And teachers, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Thank you so much. Silence. Wow. And uh, Zulu Gremlin was there, who's mm. famous. And, uh, and I guess and another guy was there from Mexico. And when I sat down, he goes, fucking Victor. He goes, how can you like scold a whole auditorium? And then at the end, they clap for you. I said, because I think I'm doing the right thing. And then someone goes, well, it's a good thing you to throw a bottle. I was like, why would I do that? Yeah. Like, do you guys understand that I, I didn't do it? I did it because she should have been there. And the crowd, I said, did I say anything that was not correct? Well, no, it, you're correct. And I said, yeah, because we told Zulu. And Zulu goes, I am not doing anything. That's Victor. He knows what he's doing. So I'm, I'm very passionate about things. Like that. That's why sometimes I get hired and sometimes I don't. Because people will hear the truth of... The that's situation a teacher. of and a situation. That's a teacher teaching. I actually want to know a little bit more your thoughts on censoring music. Like, what are the boundaries? And because I grew up with like cussing and I, 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 I used to, no, I used to get censored in class mm -hmm. back in in the eighties and when I was teaching jazz, I would get censored. Not to the extreme that I probably would today, but I never used anything that 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 was blatantly insulting. Ah, okay. I would use music that would make you think. Mm -hmm. And that's when I got in trouble. And they would come in and tell me to switch the record. And I would switch the record to something that was even worse of making you think, but it wasn't saying any cuss words. Mm -hmm. Example, I had once, I was brought in to teach a group of girls and, and boys back in the 80s when Madonna had her big hits. And I just wrote about writing the other day because I did a lot of flow work and posing and that stuff because she's, she was doing that in mm -hmm. her videos. And so I, I I happened to have a combination to like a virgin, which I didn't think anything of it. So I, I, you know, I'm teaching the girls and they happen to be Mormon. So I didn't know that, <laughs> you know, I didn't. So I, but they knew the lyrics. Mm -hmm. They knew, they knew everything. That's so for me, I was like, so they, people were allowed to come and change my music once. I did have a, I had a, you know, only once you can come in because after that I'm locking the door and you're not coming in because I am mindful. I'm an adult and I understand. But if you're being ridiculous, then I have to call it out. You know, it's not my fault that you guys are not, the world is like this and this is pop music culture. Mm -hmm. uh, so that we did the combination and everything and, and sure enough, the girls knew the, knew the music, knew the song. So they loved it and boom, and ba da da and roll and up and two, dance, turn, so boom. And so the director comes in and comes and says, you know, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, fine. So she got out and I locked the door and I put on Burning Up. I love Burning Up. <laughs> I Madonna. love Burning Up. Same, and they couldn't say anything. I love it. I went from like a virgin to I'm Burning Up. Fine. So what I think about now, because I just happened to see uh, um, someone teach heels at a school where I was. Now it's now it's uh, a different name of the school, but it's the same mm -hmm. school. And, um, and I happened to come in 
and this guy's this guy was teaching heels and I walk in and he's teaching how many licks does it take to and I was like Cam. whoa whoa and yet I got did I think it was proper no is it because of the age or because no of the... because it has nothing to do with what you really want to do you're only oh. I think that some people and I could be totally wrong but I doubt it some people will do the harsh words to get the likes and because it's a popular song mm. but there's ways of doing clean songs with the same intent in dance and hardcore let your dancing do the talking not the song mm. Mm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I always ask how old the kids are I whenever I teach I'm mindful of my like so Ava said earlier today can I cuss I ask mm -hmm. you know because I, I have a daughter that's 11 years old and I don't want her growing up so so sheltered that she doesn't understand the difference between what's proper and what's not mm -hmm. and when to do what you need to do and when to act like and that's one of the things that I've always been as a gay man as well there's a time and place for everything I don't need to walk around raging every single second and even when when people were saying about kids you know to come out I never came out because it was I didn't need to like what was the point here I am hear me roar what do I expect a parade like what do I expect mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with that so my my I was always a little uh, not against it but a little like oh, I don't think it's the right idea because some of these young kids were coming out in the middle of nowhere Ohio or uh, Massachusetts and had no support system mm. so then there was a lot of suicide happening mm. it's like mm. be aware that what you are no one ever needs to really know like I don't ask you oh, are you straight mm. I don't ask you what positions you sleep in I don't ask I, it's just we're just humans interacting with humans what we do is separate it shouldn't take away from it should but it just do you see what I'm saying? Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? No, I, I've, I've thought about it before. I know this can be a triggering conversation, but um, we should have the freedom to express what you want to express, but also to not express if you the don't need... The education to know when to do it. Or people, they don't need to... I'm not saying don't come out or anything, no, no, but no. people don't need to know your sexuality if you don't want them to know it also. Because I was like, how would that be? Like, I'm straight, um, but how would that feel for me if I feel any pressure to announce or let people know I'm straight like what, what's the purpose there's no point being served except that freedom for what my brother did my brother's gay by the way he did come out he did come out and it was funny because I, I found out that he came out when I was traveling mm. and he told my family and when my family had no no they said nothing you know they were just like this he goes oh and Victor's too he outed me my brother fucking outed me <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is my family was not shocked because I'm not different. Mm. I am exactly who I am here or anywhere else. And not saying anything against coming out no, or no, anything. No, 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 Just, no, no. This is part of oh, the conversation. We don't have to be so diplomatic. Really? But, oh but, my God, but, but I understand. I but, but I understand. We, let's, let's be real because now we become so much like we can't. You yeah. know what? The world is not like that, people. Yeah. The world is really nasty and ugly. Mm. Find art and put it into that. You know, find poetry, put it into that. Something just happened very horrible yesterday. And I don't watch. I haven't watched TV since Joan Rivers passed away. Mm. I had a dream about her the other night. Oh my God! Like this is the second nights. thing that I've had with you guys today. <laughs> she had something about the rock and roll, was it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, uh, since she because she was brass, she didn't care, and yeah. she said it like she said it. Yeah. Right now, I watch Wendy Wendy Williams because mm -hmm. I think she's it's just I love her. She's just so stupid and funny <laughs> that I'm like those like oh my God, you're so dumb. But you know she's real. Um, we we. We don't have to be so careful that we have to pretend that nobody takes a dump. Mm -hmm. Like, we, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, it, you know, the world is not like that. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm teaching my daughter not to be like that. It's like, no, this happens. This is ugly. Uh, I, for me, like even yesterday, my thoughts right away went out was like, what happened to this boy that he switched? Like, what happened that made him switch? Mm -hmm. What happens to us as humans that we go into the dark side.